guys, welcome back to another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum. I'm here with my sidekick, Carlito. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey mom, what's cooking? Well, today guys, we're making a very simple salad that you guys are going to absolutely love. We are going to be using for the ingredients, Carlito. I'm going to be using, he was chopping up some cantaloupe melon, some honeydew melon. We are going to make a lemon vinaigrette. And we are going to incorporate some prosciutto in there and some fresh basil. Wow, doesn't that sound yummy? Oh my God, I can't wait. It sounds to taste so it. good, guys. Okay, guys, so as I said, Carlito is sitting here. He is cutting the cantaloupe. Here we have cantaloupe melon. I cut it square so it looks really pretty. And I also, what I did was I julienned our honeydew melon. It is so sweet and so delicious. So I will start. Look at this, you guys. Look at how, how beautiful is this lemon. Look at how beautiful that lemon is. So I'm going to squeeze a large lemon with Carlito's permission. Excuse me, Carlito. Of course you have my permission, honey. Okay. Remember, when you use this gadget, everyone puts the lemon face side down. It's supposed to be face side up. Isn't that weird? That's exactly how it should be. I love this device. Cover your eyes. For any device that I use in the kitchen, guys, make sure you go to www.stovetopyumyum.com and I'll have all the information soon on where on Amazon I buy this. These are great. So handy. Look at that. Squeeze all that lemon juice. Wow, that's a big, big lemon, you guys. I love lemons. All right, so where's the other lemon? <laughs> so we're going to do the second one, guys. Let me show you. Cover your eyes. Woo. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Wow, it's a lot of juice. All right, so always remember when you're making a vinaigrette, guys, Carlito, always remember, guys, that the measurements of acid to oil, it, there's always going to be more oil than acid, always. A little more oil than acid. So if you're making a, a vinaigrette with balsamic vinegar, you know, an olive oil, in this case, I'm going to use extra light, extra virgin olive oil on this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in here. So we're looking at about two, about a tablespoon and a half. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of this. And as I'm doing this, we will grab our whisk, which guys, I'm going to grab my whisk and whisk in my oil. Make sure to measure it. If it's, you know, two tablespoons, tablespoon and a half of uh, lemon juice, two tablespoons of oil. I made, I've made it so many times that I already know. So by, by looking at it, I already know. So now we want to bring out the sweetness. We have saltiness with our prosciutto ham. If you guys have never had cantaloupe melon wrapped in prosciutto ham, you're missing out. It is the most delicious combination. Oh my God, it's so delicious, you guys. So I have my vinaigrette here. I'm going to go ahead and put a tiny bit of salt. I don't think I even have to squeeze it. It's right there. That'll bring out some of the sweetness as well. And then we'll put a little bit of the pepper. And mix it in. For our vinaigrette. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, you can mix that in. Okay, we're going to put this in the sink. Careful, mix that in. Now I'm going to grab my prosciutto, guys. That's good, that's good. That's good. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Thank you, Carlito. That's perfect, honey. Perfect, guys. So that's ready. So now, Carlito, I'm going to grab our thinly sliced prosciutto ham. Mm -hmm. These are very thinly sliced, and that's okay, guys. I love prosciutto. Do you like prosciutto, Carlito? I've never had it. Do you know what prosciutto is? No. Prosciutto is ham. It's Italian. It's ham that is cured with olive oil for a long, long time. It's delicious. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's a lot pricier than regular ham. So what I did was little rolls like this, guys. Check this out. Little rolls. The, the prosciutto tastes like ham, but like with more ham flavor. Right. And it's cured with olive oil. It tastes and delicious. Organic All right, so we got our prosciutto. So we'll probably use about maybe three or four slices. This is delicious. I'll definitely take some of this for lunch tomorrow. Yum. You normally don't use a knife. When you want to cut it like you want to do a chiffon cut, very thin, like little like confetti. Mm -hmm. You know, you use a knife. But basil is not meant to be used with a knife. You bruise the basil. So you usually just rip it with your hands. This is a very fresh, delicious, summery salad. I mean, 
it's so yummy and so easy to make and so it's good for you too so i really like it i really enjoy it so let's grab some of our let's grab a, ba a, a basil leaf it smells funny yeah not funny I'm doing like a little chiffon cut when you roll your basil up although it's really sad to cut basil with a knife but that's all right everybody <coughs> oh my goodness <coughs> excuse me that basil is so potent that it <coughs> wow okay all right you guys so now we're gonna assemble okay i'm gonna lower here and i'm gonna show you guys how i assemble this so we're gonna grab some of our melon grab some melon oh my god this melon i tasted it earlier and it's so delicious i know i tasted it. i took a little bite from it mm, so good so sweet i guess i'm gonna grab some of that now i'm gonna stick my clean hands in here in the cantaloupe mm -hmm. Look at that. Put some cantaloupe on top. Oh my god, this is starting to look Ooh. beautiful already. I mean, how's this for like an easy summer salad? Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys. Watch my little white towel, sweetheart. Right there. No, the white one. Oh, the white or one. Or give me a napkin. A napkin's fine. Yeah. White one's in the sink. I used it for okay, the Okay, guys. So we're going to close our prosciutto off. Now we have this. Look at this so far. Wow. Now we're going to put our prosciutto on top. Mm -hmm. mm, yummy. Put our prosciutto on top. It's a lot of prosciutto. It well, is. I'm not going to really use all this prosciutto that I cut up on one salad because we can use this definitely for another one because we have a lot of uh, prosciutto left. Of our fruit left over. Yeah. Oh. All right. So now we're going to do that. How pretty is that? Look at that, you guys. Now mm -hmm. we're going to sprinkle a little bit of our chiffon here. I thought that was basil. Yeah, it's a oh. chiffon basil. It's it's cut like it's called it's called chiffon. See how it looks like uh, flakes? It, no, it looks like confetti. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yes. Oh, come back here, buddy. Okay, guys. So now, guys, I'm gonna move this. I'm so excited. I get nervous when I'm gonna eat stuff that's so delicious. Look at that so oh far. Oh my god. Check that out so far. Because I love to eat good food. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. All right. So now we're gonna grab our whisk again. And we're going to put a little bit of our lemon vinaigrette all over the top. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the acid and the lemon juice, the saltiness, and we have the oil. That's just about right. Voila, and that's it. Perfecto. How's that for a delicious summer salad, Carlito? That is, oh my gosh, that looks stunning. Doesn't that is, it? That is stunning. It's stunning, isn't it? Look at this, you guys. Look how easy and beautiful this prosciutto melon salad is. Look at that. With our lemon vinaigrette to add acid, our sweetness. You guys, this is so amazing. So amazing and so delicious, you guys. Now my mouth is watering. How quick was this? Now we're going to taste it. Grab, so now we're going to grab a piece of prosciutto. We're going to grab a piece of melon. A small little piece of melon. So you can see this in a little... What are you doing? This is... Oh my god. Grab a little piece of basil. Oh my god, Carly. You're going to start ruining Okay, guys. So now we're going to taste it, okay? okay? See how delicious this tastes. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Mmm! So delicious. Sorry. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> oh, so refreshing, you guys. Oh, my God. And the acid of that lemon and the sweetness of the melon on that prosciutto ham and then that basil pops in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> that was amazing. Mmm. Mmm. How oh easy. God. How easy was that, you guys? So delicious, huh? Oh my good. So remember, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If not, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Smash the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell. Guys, and always remember my two main ingredients in all my recipes, which are? Passion and love. That's right. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what your kitchen looks like. I don't care what, you, what you're making. If you incorporate passion and love, your recipe will not fail. 
I promise you, your recipe will not fail. And guys, always also remember down on the screen here, go visit us at www.stovetopyumyum.com where we have our merch. We have our aprons, our shirts, and don't forget promo code STOVETOP will save you 10% off your entire order, guys. Oh, and shipping is free, by the way, which I mm -hmm. forgot to mention last time. Shipping F -R -E -E, is free. -E, free. That's right, free. And don't forget to check us out. And as I always say, you guys, au revoir. Mm -hmm. I love um, you. Los you quiero. Too. And until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, we will we'll be, be back, back and we will see you guys then. Take great care, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.